Finally, The Rock is back on SmackDown and he's made an enormous impact. But upon his return, he didn't mention anything about Roman Reigns and he's not impressed upon his return to SmackDown before Crown Jewel, where he will be facing AJ Styles for the undisputed Universal Championship. And Reigns says, AJ Styles. You've stepped to my family, so now at Crown Jewel, you step to the Tribal Chief and get put down like the rest. But while your time is coming, the time came where finally we saw The Rock come back. And listen, I get it's exciting. He's a big movie star. But why is he here? Well, it sure as hell isn't for you people. It's because no one's making movies right now. But what does he do? He comes back, he gets his cheap pop, he strokes his ego, then he walks away and he laps it all up on social media. And a lot of people have said, oh, but he didn't mention Roman. He didn't mention the bloodline. Well, can you blame him? I'd be keeping my name out of his mouth as well. So keep dreaming. And who knows? Maybe someday that dream will come true. Roman Reigns with a big warning shot across the bow of the rock. While he has one eye on him, he also has one eye on Jimmy Uso, who's been trying to get back into the bloodline, and Roman has set him a challenge for the main event. Because the wise man Paul Heyman got intel that tonight is the night we find out who has been traded to SmackDown for Jimmy's brother Jay. And Roman wants Jimmy to give him a bloodline welcome to attempt to prove himself. And as Jimmy gets to the ring for the match, it's time to find out just who that is. Wrestling has more than one royal family. Cody Rhodes is on SmackDown. It was largely expected and it's come to fruition. It's the return of a big problem for what is left of the bloodline. And Rhodes is in the mood for revenge all these months later. And as the match gets underway, he's fired up. And he absolutely brutalizes Jimmy. In fact, he's so much in control that only minutes into the match, Solo slides in the ring and the match is immediately thrown out. But they don't care. But before they can get too much on top, Styles flies off, wipes out Jimmy with a phenomenal forearm, and Cody gets Solo and nails him with a crossroads. And all this commotion draws Reigns from backstage. And he's fuming. He's got to face Styles at Crown Jewel, and now he's no doubt got Rhodes on the horizon as well. But before we get to that, it's Rhodes who's given another chance at redemption against the man who cost him the title at WrestleMania Hollywood when he faces Solo Sokoa at Crown Jewel. But first, let's just take a breath for a second and think about mental health. Because today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp to bring you a form of more affordable and more accessible online therapy. And one of the biggest regrets that I have is not getting on top of mine sooner. Getting on top of those feelings and finding out what the root of those feelings are is so, so important. I've got a link in the description. It gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Sign up, you, do, you fill out a quick questionnaire, right? And they match you up with a therapist. And if you're not really vibing with the first therapist that you find, they will allow you at no extra charge to switch it out to find a better fit. You don't have to worry about all the insurance, all the stuff that comes along with it. We always think that no one would understand our problems. We always think that you're the only one that can control what is going on in here, but sometimes we just need a little guidance. So if you're feeling like you could use some better help, head to the link in the description for 10% off your first month. And look after yourself because you're not alone and you are worth it. And Rhodes brings the same amount of energy and ferocity as he did to Jimmy. But Solo is a different kind of beast, and he brings the fight right back in a big way. But Rhodes isn't here to let this family hold him down anymore. And he manages to hit a giant Cody Cutter on Solo, and he wants to finish him off with a crossroads. But then, from the back, it's Jimmy Uso who's still trying to prove himself to the bloodline and he gets on the apron where he's in the face of Cody. Then, from the crowd, it's Jay. And he grabs Jimmy, pulls him down off the apron and they start brawling at ringside. But Cody is still in some trouble because Solo's now back up. He grabs him by the throat for a Samoan spike, but Cody Rhodes breaks out and he finds the opportunity to nail him with another crossroads for the big win. 
Jimmy and Solo retreat to the ramp as they look back in the ring at a fired up Jey Uso and an even more fired up Cody Rhodes. Both men hell bent on the destruction of the bloodline. Just like AJ Styles when he walks into the battlefield to try and do what no one has done in over a thousand days and that's to dethrone the tribal chief. And AJ gives it everything. He's one of the greatest in-ring performers ever. He gets several close calls on Reigns. He pushes him to the very limit. And we start to wonder if perhaps the time off hasn't served Reigns very well at all. Styles manages to hit him with a phenomenal forearm and the tribal chief is in trouble. And Heyman is panicking. Heyman jumps on the apron and the referee is trying to tell him to get down when the unthinkable happens as Styles is lining up Reigns. It's Gallows and Anderson. They grab Styles, lay him out, and send him back in the ring. Roman takes the chance, nails him with a spear, and no one can quite believe what they've seen. Reigns retains, and for once, it wasn't the bloodline. It was AJ's own turning on him. Reigns escapes again, and this draws the eye of the Great One who sends a shot across the bow of the Tribal Chief this time with a video from his own gym. Roman, I just want to send you a quick hello since you seem upset that I didn't say it on SmackDown. Which, by the way, is named after The Rock. But uh, that's beside the point. Anyway, I just wanted to say that a true Tribal Chief, and I mean a real one, Roman, wouldn't need help from anyone. And what I saw at Crown Jewel is hardly what I'd consider to be a leader. It's not exactly head of the table behavior. But anyway, champ, keep that seat warm. You never know what's around the corner. I'll see you soon. The tension between The Rock and Reigns is bubbling away. The tension begins to rise between Reigns and Rhodes all over again. Now, not a lot of people on Raw were overly happy with my decision. I came to SmackDown though, for one reason. And as it turns out, surprise, surprise, that reason isn't here tonight. And for those playing along at home, that reason is Roman Reigns. But not only Roman, right? It's the championship that he holds. The championship that is the reason I came back to WWE in the first place. So while Roman isn't here, I am. And I... Roman ain't here. But we are, Us. Jimmy and Solo have Cody surrounded. And they're irate about Crown Jewel. They rush the ring and they start hammering away on Cody again. He's all on his own. And it isn't looking good. Until... It's John Cena! And he's here to help Cody. He hits the ring and he runs off Solo and Jimmy. And immediately, Cody gets up and starts yelling, you want to fight for him? You want to fight to protect someone who has no interest in protecting you? Well, that's fine. Survivor Series is coming up and we are both born survivors. So go and get Roman. Go and get him off the island of relevancy and we'll grab someone who's very familiar with that island as well and we're gonna have a six man match. And it's Jimmy who actually accepts the match on the spot and he says, you're on Cody. We'll end this little story and you'll see why your story will always be secondary to ours because we the ones. Jimmy speaks on behalf of the bloodline and Solo looks at him a little bemused. Jimmy hasn't exactly proven himself to a large degree to Roman yet, and he might have spoken out of turn. We find out the next week when Roman is back that he in fact did. You never speak for the bloodline. You aren't even back in the bloodline. You haven't even proven to me that you deserve to be. So now what? We listen to you now? That was never the case, even when you were in. So you sure as hell better make this right at Survivor Series. Roman is fuming and he's under pressure with a returning Cody, a defiant John Cena, a disgruntled former Bloodline member in Jey Uso who will be teaming with them at Survivor Series. But let's not forget another family member, The Rock, who pokes the bear yet again with another message to Roman Reigns. 
You know, The Rock's heard a lot of talk about finishing the story. I've heard a lot about heads of tables, and The Rock thinks that Roman is running. He blames the people around him for everything, but never looks inwards. He's running from Cody, because he's terrified of losing that title. Not because it's a loss, but because he doesn't want to let the elders down. Because while you've managed to keep some of the family under your thumb, you've never had The Rock there. So all I'm saying, Roman, is you need to be a leader. A true leader. Or maybe, just maybe, I might have to come and show you how. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. The Rock continues to antagonize Roman, but is it having an effect? Well, the pressure is on the week after when Solo, and in particular Jimmy, are trying to get momentum back on the side of the bloodline. They're taking on John Cena and Cody Rhodes in a blockbuster main event, and it's high intensity. It feels like there's so much on the line for the bloodline, especially Jimmy Uso, who is yet to be allowed fully back in. And it comes apart when Solo and Cena are the legal men and they're trading in the ring. Jimmy has Cody on the outside and he drags him all the way to the backstage area. And after a few minutes, Jimmy emerges, but he's alone. There's no Cody Rhodes and Jimmy is able to get back in the match and he and Solo get on top of Cena. We then see why Cody didn't re-emerge from backstage because he's in the clutches of Roman Reigns. All while back in the ring, Solo hits Cena with a Samoan spike and Jimmy hits a splash. And it's Jimmy who gets the big pin and all the momentum for the bloodline. But right after the match, we see Cody starting to fight back against Reigns on the stage. And then in the ring, through the crowd, comes Jey Uso. He gets in the ring and he has a super kick for Jimmy. And Cena has an AA for his brother. And Jay is going to be on the same team as Rhodes and Cena at Survivor Series. And to make it even more intense, Cody is able to get separation on Roman and he says, Let's up the ante. Unless you're going to take the coward's way out again, Roman. If we win at Survivor Series, I get the chance to finish the story at the Royal Rumble. I face you one-on-one -on -one for the undisputed Universal Championship. But if we lose, I'll never challenge you for that title ever again while you hold it. So come on, Roman. Don't prove The Rock right. You're a true leader, aren't you? You're not a coward. Reigns, in the heat of the battle, accepts and says, I'm going to take pleasure in ending all of this story bullshit. Stack your own team with Cena. Stack it with Jay, who I taught everything he knows. None of it matters. It all ends at Survivor Series, where there will be zero survivors. And your story ends. Huge profile match. And just so much on the line for Rhodes, who's hedged his bets with Cena and Jay on his side. It's do or die, and it shows. Jimmy fights desperately against Jay. The literal bad blood is evident. We get a blockbuster showdown between Cena and Reigns as well, as they get their chance to go back and forth. And Cody gets his chance to extract some punishment on Solo as well, but it all rides on one key moment. The action has spilled all over the ring. Jay and Jimmy are clearly preoccupied with each other. Solo has been put down on the outside by a John Cena AA through the announce table. And as Cena gets back on the apron, Roman sends Cody off, but Cena gets the blind tag. Roman spears Cody Rhodes. But Roman isn't the legal man. Jimmy is. And he gets in the ring as Cena is stalking Roman for an AA. He gets him out of the way, but Cena picks up Jimmy and nails him with the AA instead. He gets the pin and the win. It's John Cena who earns Cody a shot at redemption. The gamble Rhodes took has paid off big time. It now locks in Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns, the undisputed Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble. Jimmy and Solo are nervously waiting for Roman to arrive on SmackDown after the big loss. And they wait all night. And it seems like it's for nothing. Because Roman doesn't show up, but someone else does. You need to understand who Roman is. 
Yes, he's one of the greatest we've ever seen. But his success has largely been because of you. You guys can be great on your own. Solo, you're a bull. You don't need him to succeed. You never did. And Jimmy, probably one of the most talented human beings I've seen in that ring, with or without your brother. Don't let this guy stand in your way. All I want you to do is think about it. Cody deserves a fair shot, just like you guys do. So give it to him. The Rock has taken a calm and calculated approach in trying to talk Jimmy and Solo around. Spoken like someone who could sit at the head of the table. But it's not the only big conversation for the night because Cena is there as well and he's talking to Cody this time and he's saying that he thinks he's the next one to be truly the face of the company. And he says, you act with grace and dignity. And you fight for what's right. You understand that this business is all about hustle, loyalty, and respect. And I respect you. It was a pleasure to fight beside you and help you get to the top of the mountain again. But now it's time to plant your flag and honor yours and honor your father's legacy. Those words mean a lot, John. And I want you to know that if I win, it would be my pleasure to give you a chance to fulfill a dream of yours. I want to give you a shot at number 17. And Cena says, you know, I might just take you up on that. But finish your story first. Then we can worry about ours. It's time to finally get the showdown we waited months for after the heartbreak that was WrestleMania Hollywood. But the question really is, is will Roman be a true leader and do it on his own? Or does he fall back once again on the bloodline who all competed in the Royal Rumble earlier alongside John Cena and Jey Uso? A match that was won by none other than Gunther who already called his shot and he's going to take on Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania Philadelphia. But this match is about the undisputed Universal Championship and the bitter rivalry between two of the company's biggest stars. And it's brutal in every way. It's such a familiar sight. It's Roman dominance. And he's out to prove a point because he instructed no one, not even Paul Heyman, to be at ringside. And it really feels as though Roman is going to indeed prove that point and says, this is what you do when your father's legacy is on the line? You lay down like a dog? You are a disgrace to your family. I'm more of a son to him than you'll ever be. At least I'd be someone he could be proud of. Rhodes has heard enough. He's got fire in his eyes and the nightmare is becoming a reality for Roman. Rhodes is on a roll. He's right on top of Reigns and this is gonna be the moment. He hits Roman with a crossroads, and then he hits another, and then he picks him up for one more right over near the corner, but unbelievably, it's Jimmy Uso. But before he can get to Rhodes, he's pulled down off the apron by Jay, and they start fighting again. Reigns escapes Cody, he looks for a spear, but Rhodes counters into a DDT, and he gets Roman in position for another crossroads in the corner, but now, it's Solo. Rock with the save, Rhodes finishes off the crossroads and with that Cody Rhodes finishes the record of Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes is the new undisputed Universal Champion and with that he finishes the story. But while that story is done, there is a few more brewing yet. Jimmy and Solo are yet again waiting nervously for Roman to arrive after another major loss. But he doesn't show up, and yet again, The Rock does. You guys let me down. You let the elders down. You let everyone down 
including yourselves. I was worried that it would come to that. I was worried I'd have to step in like I did. And it's disappointing that you went that way. But listen, our family is a forgiving one. And I'm going to give you one more chance. One more chance to do the right thing for the family. Because Roman Reigns is going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Great One at WrestleMania. And I don't want to see either of you at ringside. The Rock has given them one more chance. He's warning them not to interfere in he and Roman's match at WrestleMania, which is made official. But the road there is rocky because Roman Reigns has found out through Paul Heyman that Jimmy and Solo have had two encounters with The Rock and he is not happy. You invite him in? This is how you try and get back in the bloodline? Answer me! You think this is how it goes? You just walk back in and do whatever the hell you want! Answer me! We didn't invite him in. You did. You said nothing. You had his name in your mouth. Just like you've had ours for far too long. Roman is taken back by this. This is one of the first times Solo has stood up to him and Roman says, do we have a problem? And Solo calmly looks him in the eyes and says, we could, that's up to you. Roman and Solo stare right through each other and Roman walks away. And what are they thinking? Are they coming around to the mindset of The Rock or are they gonna stay loyal to Roman Reigns? Well, it's put to the test on the final SmackDown before WrestleMania when The Rock is in the building and he's hyping up the big match. Finally, The Rock has come back to Philadelphia. And finally, The Rock is returning to the ring. And it's not about championships, no, no, no. The Rock has been there and done that. This isn't about money. This isn't because The Rock doesn't have a movie to make. This is about family. This is about honor. This is about what hangs around Roman's neck. Because The Rock wants to hang it around his. Dwayne, this has been coming a long time and you're right, this isn't about titles. I've sure as hell been there and done that longer than anyone in modern history. Which is why I'm going to get it back once I've sent you back to Hollywood with more injuries than when you left the last time. So yeah Rock, this isn't about championships, it is about family, my family. The family that I made into true stars, the family that I elevated. While you're off making movies, I'm protecting this family. You just go and do everything else for yourself. You think this makes you worthy of wearing this, just showing up. You think you're worthy of wearing this around your neck. You can't handle it. And now we, the real family, are gonna rid this place of the most selfish member of this family. Roman is a chief without a tribe. The family has walked out on him. But as he watches them leave, he has a family member behind him. The Rock looks for a rock bottom, but Roman counters, and Roman is able to land a spear on the Great One. And while Roman might not have the family around him, he still has the lay around his neck. He is still the tribal chief. He is still the head of the table. But for just how long? because the battle for the Tribal Chief goes down at WrestleMania. The 
ultimate dream match people have wanted for years is finally here. Roman Reigns defending the role of Tribal Chief against the People's Champion. And it's Tribal Combat. But with a direct order from the Elders that there is to be absolutely no interference whatsoever. It's the two Alphas of the family going to war and it is just that. A true one-on-one -on -one match between two titans of the sport on the grandest stage of them all. And Roman is younger, he's quicker, but he isn't necessarily hungrier. Roman fires off a Superman punch in the corner and he uses his speed to hit the ropes and he looks for a spear, but instead he gets caught by a spine buster. And The Rock has him right where he wants him. He's ready to give the people what they want. He bounces off the ropes, but as he does, Roman scrambles to his feet and then nails him with a spear. He makes the cover. One, two, no. He can't get him. He's incredibly frustrated and he gets to the corner and he's gonna try and put the people's champion away for good. Roman is down. The crowd is up and The Rock is ready. He launches off and he nails the people's elbow, not just for the people, but for the family. And The Rock wins it. And he delivers Roman Reigns his first WrestleMania main event loss in five years. But it's not all he lost. He lost the lay. He lost the role of Tribal Chief. And as Roman lays there defeated, the Rock heads up to the top of the ramp where Arthur and Seeker stand. And The Rock faces the elders and says, This was about bringing honor back to the family. That responsibility I want to give back to you. I want you to choose another tribal chief. I know of three men that are more than capable. The Rock places the lay back around the neck of the elders. Honor is restored. Roman's reign is ended. All in the name of family.